Hi, welcome to WebShade. My name is Chris Williamson. I'm the production detailer and an installer here at WebShade. Uh, today we're going to show you how to install one of our level lock shades with the security box and the optional back plate. Before we begin, I'd like to show you the hardware that you're going to need to complete the installation. Uh, the first thing here, since we're going to be doing an outside mount on this window, where actually these are called our l mullions and these have the track pre-mounted on them and we'll also have the holes drilled, pre-drilled for the bracket plates. This is going to be an example of one of our bracket plates designed for our angled security box. Uh, the next piece of hardware is going to be the actual shade itself. The next piece of hardware is going to be our security box back and we use this when there's a depth of more than four inches to prohibit any access from behind to the shade roller. And the final piece of hardware is going to be our angled security box. The next step in the installation is going to be to mount the l mullion onto the wall. In this case, it's going to be a leg out. This is the leg facing out away from the window. It's important to make sure that this inside edge lines up with the, the edge of the window that you're mounting to. So it'll sit on there just like this. Now in this particular example, we're using the l mullions because we don't have enough clear depth here to mount the security box fully inside of the opening. So what the l mullions are going to do is it allows us to bring the shade and the security box out far enough that we can mount the box and it'll be flush with this wall. The next step in the installation is going to be to mount the security box back with the slider bracket plate already attached. And to do that, we're going to use these 10 by 32 by 3 16 inch screws. These are machine screws. And these will mount directly through the holes on the bracket plates into the holes that are pre-drilled on the mullion. Now, it's important to make sure that the angle on the mullion here and the angle on the plate match up. When those are even and flush together, all the other spacing will line up correctly. Now that we have the slider bracket plate attached to the mullion here, we're going to go ahead and mount the other bracket plate. And what you're going to do is push the back over. It'll slide over to give you room to put this bracket plate in between the mullion and the security box back. Now that we have our L mullions mounted to the wall, our bracket plates and security box back mounted to the L mullions, it's time to install the shade itself. Now one thing to keep in mind is make sure that your hands are clean before you handle the shade so you don't get any dirt or smudges on the shade. Here we have the shade and the first step to putting this in is going to be unroll it all the way. You'll notice here that the shade is rolling off the back. This is how it's supposed to go. At this point there are a couple different ways that we can proceed. Uh, as you can see here, I have the drive pin facing down with the shade rolling out the back of the roller. And what we can do is fit this drive pin directly into the slot. Now that the drive pin is in place, we slide the extender over into the here. Another option, rather than having the tension pin facing down, is to roll the shade over so the tension pin is facing up. And you'll do the same thing, fit the drive pin into the slot and slide the extender over into the hole. With the roller tube fully extended, uh, make sure that there's nothing sticking out past the bracket plate. The easiest way to do that is just slide it in, make sure everything is flush so we have no parts extruding past the bracket plate. With the roller tube in place, the next step is going to be adjust the shade to make sure that it is centered in the opening. The easiest way to do that is just grab it and pull it from side to side. Now that the roller tube is in place in between the brackets, the next step will be to remove the tension pin, which sits right here. Now that the tension pin is removed, the next step will be to place the keeper screw here into the flat part of the extending piece. It's important to make sure that you put it in the flat part beneath the roller tube so that you don't get any dimples from the screw in the fabric. 
for this we're going to use a number 8 by 1 half inch screw. I'm going to screw this directly into the flat part of the extending piece. Now that the roller tube is in place and working, the next step will be to adjust the end tips so that it fits in the track, it's centered in between the track. In order to do this, you need to pinch the finger clips together, make sure that they are centered, and then you can adjust the threaded end tips either in or out. And a good rule of thumb is to put the inside edge of the, of the end tip will line up with the inside edge of the track when the finger clips are pinched together. And now that the end tips are adjusted properly, the next step will be to actually place them into the track. Now that the shade is installed and operational, the next step will be to install our angle security box. And to put this on, this bottom lip right here is going to fit up to the bottom lip on our bracket plate. Like that. It's going to fit over here like this, and you'll notice that the angles will match up again. Here. Once the security box is in place, we will attach it using the number 8 by 1 half self-drilling screw. And those are going to mount through, there's three holes on the angled security box, two here on the face, and one up underneath the bottom lip. Now that the security box has been mounted to the bracket plates, the next step will be to mount this top lip back against the wall so that there will be no access to the roller tube or the shade. Now that the security box is installed, uh, all you're going to have to do is make sure that you wipe everything down check that the shade is working properly, and then clean up any mess that you've made on the floor or around the window. Each level lock with the angled security box should take you about between 15 to 20 minutes per shade, depending on what kind of material you're mounting into. So assume for your timing purposes that you can get between three and four shades completely installed in an hour.